we don't just provide a simple binary result back to the provider, meaning yes, no, there is a signal for cancer. We do provide that information that, and that's super valuable. That's the first layer of information. But that coin, we try and identify, is that you know a euro? Is that a pound? Where is that? You know, why is that coin different? And where is that coming from? But we call it the CSO or the cancer signal of origin. And we think that is absolutely a fundamental component of this this platform and this really new kind of field that that we're developing because there's a lot of other kind of test developers that that are trying to kind of crack this nut as well and trying to really bring new innovations into this really exciting multi-cancer early detection field and we really think that that component of identifying where this potential signal is coming from whether or not it's the lung or the gut or the head and neck, for instance, is super valuable as that second layer of information to the provider so that they don't have to do pan scans and they don't have to go on a broad diagnostic odyssey to try and find where that signal is coming from and then lump it out, do surgery or radiation or try and actually remove the tumor. Um, we actually give that CSO, that cancer signal of origin information back as the second layer of information so that the the next diagnostic stage is more targeted. And we think that's really a fundamental piece of, of this field.